Our next step will be to install our buttons. Now each of the buttons that you will receive from us have four wires that we will be using. There is actually five wires on the harness, but we will not be using the blue wire. The blue wire is for a normally closed connection, and we're not going to be using that. Uh, the green wire is for the normally open. The white wire is the common between those two. So the, the white, the green, and the blue are for the button. The red and the black are power for the LED that's inside of the button. So, let's get started. To run a wire that will connect the buttons to your controller, I recommend using network cable since we're only using a 12 volt line for the LEDs. Everything else will be having 5 volts on it, for which is a, just a momentary signal. Um, I have used network cable for connecting these. Uh, the only downside is when you're doing a three floor system, you won't have enough wires in one cable to connect all of the buttons. The, we're using four wires for each button. There's eight wires in a network cable, so you may have to run a separate network cable just to connect your third floor buttons. But what I'm going to do is just randomly assign a color for each of these wires. You're welcome to use the same color code, but it does not matter which wires you use, just make sure you're consistent and you know which wires are connected to what. So, since I have a green wire on the button harness, I'm going to use that one first, and I'm going to connect it with the green wire that's on the network cable. To keep track of the wire colors that I'm using, I'm going to write them down. I have made a document that you can download that will help you keep track of your wire colors, but I'm just going to write them down on a random piece of paper, uh, which I have here on the desk. I'm going to start with the bottom floor button, and I'm going to use the network cable wiring and I'm going to write it down so I can know which ones are going to what. So on the bottom floor button, the green wire, I'm on the button, I'm going to write it down here, green. I'm going to assign to the solid green on the wire. I'm going to solder these just because I don't have the wire nuts available and it's probably a better deal to solder them anyway. The next wire I'm going to do, since the green wire on the button is one of the button wires, I'll go ahead and connect the other button wire which is the white. And since I've already used the solid green on the network cable, I'm just going to use the striped green just to make it easier to keep track. So the solid green on the network cable is going to go to the I mean, I'm sorry, the, the striped green on the network cable, I'm going to connect to the white wire on the button harness. And I'll go ahead and solder those. I have two more wires on the floor one button to connect. Let me go ahead and strip those. And now I'm going to pick two more wires from the harness. Um, I'll start with the the orange and the striped orange, just to make them in pairs. So I'm going to use the solid orange, and I'm going to connect that to the red wire, which will be my LED 12 volt power supply. And I'm going to use the striped orange for the black on the button for the ground on the LED. So now I'll need another button, and this one will be for the top floor. On a, on a two floor system, you would only need the bottom floor button and the top floor button for each location. I'll go ahead and start with that, and the middle floor will have to be on a separate wire altogether. Again, I'm going to start with the green wire on the, up, on the top floor button. 
Now I have two pairs of colors left. I have the brown pair and I have the blue pair. So I will pick, uh, we'll say the brown wire will be the, connected to the green wire on the button. So the, the brown pair will be the button connections and the blue pair will be the power connections for the top floor button. Brown to the green on the top floor button and the white connected to the brown with the white stripe on the network cable. And then the blue, the red wire from the button is going to connect to the blue, the solid blue on the network cable and the black wire from the button will connect to the blue with the white stripe. Okay, so just a quick review. For the bottom floor button, I have the green wire connected to solid green. I've got the white wire connected to the striped green. I've got the black wire connected to the striped orange and the red wire connected to the solid orange. And then for the top floor button, the green is connected to brown, the white is connected to the white brown, red is connected to blue, and black is connected to the striped blue. That's it for the top floor button and the bottom floor button. You'll repeat this for each floor. They get all wired uh, to the same location, so you can actually make each section individually. So this would this can be for the bottom floor, then you'll make another one with the same connections for the top floor, another one with the same connections for the middle floor, another one with the same connections for the elevator.